Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. Oh, let's bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Oh, no other name I know. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Oh, let's bless that wonderful name of Oh, bless that wonderful name of Oh, there's no other name I know. One more time. Oh, let's bless that wonderful name of Oh, let's bless that wonderful name of Oh, let's bless that wonderful name of Hey, hey, hey. No other name I know. Now, come on and clap your hands. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you for being in your house right now. Lord, we just thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your tender mercy toward us. Lord, you've been so good to us. You've blessed us time after time. Today, we just want to say thank you. Help me tell God thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for your keeping power. Lord, we thank you for all of your goodness toward us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on in this morning, Lord. We welcome you right now. Fill the room this morning with your glory. Have your way in our hearts. Have your way in our souls. Have your way in our minds today. In the name of Jesus. Lord, this morning, let the weak say that I'm strong. In the name of Jesus. Let the name of Jesus. Let the weak say that I'm strong this morning. Oh, we can make it, Lord. We can make it, Lord. We can make it, Lord. Oh, we can make it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, just have your way. Have your way today. Have your way in our hearts today. Oh, God, come this morning. Come healing. Come delivering today. In the name of Jesus. Touch that man. Touch that boy. That girl, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. You can save today. Lord, there's nothing too hard for you today. Our trust and our hope is in you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Psalms 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The honor shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. The scripture said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. The Lord is good. He's good all of the time. From the Jerusalem Temple and the pastor, Pastor Roy Riley Sr. and Jerusalem Temple family, the uncles and the ministers and the missionaries and to all the people of God, truly we are so happy to be with you on today. From the Jerusalem Temple, the church with a great big heart, great big heart, a lot of love, hallelujah. We praise God for our being here today and we are so happy that you have decided to wish for the Lord with us, whether you wish to be by Zoom, Facebook, or whatever. We praise God for you on today. God is good. He's good all of the time. The Lord is still blessing. Do you know he's blessing? If you're listening to me, you are blessed. If you're present in the house of the Lord, you are blessed. So God, God is still blessing. God still working miracles in the midst of this pandemic. God is still good. God is still good. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. He can still go. Therefore, we owe him a praise on today. We owe God a praise. He is worthy. He's so worthy. He's worthy. We want to give our praise. We want you to come on. Get in the service. Get with the choir. And let's praise the Lord together. Let's praise the Lord on today. Man, how many of you know that troubles don't last always? I know we're in a, you know, trying time. But the word of the Lord says, weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. I'm so glad that troubles don't last always. Come on, put your hands together and help us sing this song. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last. Speak in 
and declare that. Come on, say it again. Anybody know that trouble don't last always? If I just keep the faith.
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. One more time, Lord. You are good. You are good. You are good. You're good to me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey. Oh, Lord. You are good. Hallelujah. 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 You're good. Lord, you're better to me than I've been to myself. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord. You're good. You're good. We all got to praise. He's been good to us. We all got to praise. He's been good to us. Has he been good to you? Come on. Put your hands together and tell him thank you. Thank you for being for being good. You could have been dead, but God let you live. He's good. I don't want to take you for granted, Lord, but you've been good to me. Thank you for my healing. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for my healing, Lord. You're so good. You're so good. Oh, Lord. Oh, thank you. Oh, bless the Lord. Hey, thank you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul, Lord that's within me, bless his holy name, thank God, thank God, thank God, oh bless him, oh bless him, oh bless him, hallelujah, hey, 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 hallelujah, thank you, thank you, oh bless his name. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you this morning. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your hand of deliverance. Thank you because you're God. You're the God of all creation. And we praise you, Lord. We honor you this morning. We worship you today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, continue to bless and deliver in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Can you just tell him thank you? Hallelujah. Come on, tell the Lord again. Thank you. Oh God, thank you. Thank you. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. We thank God for each of you today. Assemble here in the house of God. God has been so good to us. He keeps on making ways. He keeps on blessing us. Hallelujah. And we have a right to thank him. Hallelujah. I said we have a right to thank him this morning. We have a right to praise his name. To glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are grateful to him. And we thank God for all of you. Praise the Lord on this day. This Lord's day. Thank God for all of our, our visitors that are present. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. And one thing again, we, we, it is God that heals us. It is God that touches our body, that raises up. Hallelujah. Oh, the doctors can prescribe prescriptions and hallelujah. They can operate. Hallelujah. God has given them knowledge. Praise the Lord, but it take God to heal that wound, heal it back together again. Hallelujah. And nobody is like our God. Praise the Lord. Going quickly to the word of the Lord. 
the book of St. Luke, the 19th chapter, verse 10, and also St. Mark, the 8th chapter, and verse 36. Praise the Lord. I will read just, just those three verses. It says in Luke 10, Luke 19, that is, in 10, it says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Praise the Lord. To seek and to save that which was lost. Mark 8 and 36 says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Hallelujah. And then there in the book of Mark, Mark 8 and 37, it reads, Of what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Praise the Lord. What shall a man give? And I think about and look around today. Praise the Lord. There are so many individuals that have God nowhere in their minds. Hallelujah. Not thinking about him, let's own being thankful, but not praising him and thinking about him. Uh, but they have and they're going their own way and doing their own thing. But I tell you, the Savior of the world is coming again. And I know that you've heard that, the, that those words repeated over and over again. Hallelujah. But I just want to let you know that God is a long-suffering God. But the time is at hand. Hallelujah. The day of the Lord is at hand. Time is near, and the time is running out on us. Praise the Lord. We look around at the church, and people say many things about the church, but you're going to need the church. Hallelujah. You're going to need the church in these last and critical times. Oh, we need Jesus right now. Hallelujah. We need his touch right now. His hand of deliverance. And people are talking about what the church needs and what the church needs to do. But when you think about the supreme need of the church today, it is soul saving. Soul saving is the supreme need of the church of day. People think about various things about uh, what is needed. And, and some people say, oh, we need a better building. We need a better building. Look at our church and what have you. Others are saying maybe we need a better choir. You know, if we had a better choir. And there are those that are saying, Oh, we need a better preacher. If we had a better preacher. And others are saying many, many things about the need of the church. But I think the greatest need, the greatest need that we have is a need of souls being saved. Hallelujah. And that's the purpose of the church and that's the purpose that Christ himself came to this dying world. Hallelujah. That men and women, girls and boys, would praise him, would glorify him, and thank him for all of his goodness. Thank him for his amazing grace, his tender mercy. Hallelujah. God is concerned about us. God is concerned about humanity. Praise the Lord. And I say that greatest need, and I'm talking today about a passion 
to win souls. A passion to win souls. Not just satisfied maybe that if you're saved and that the Lord has saved me. But when you can get in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit a passion for lost souls. Hallelujah. A passion to win souls. Hallelujah. Time is not as long as it used to be. Hallelujah. The day of evil all around us right now. Everywhere you go, you find evil. Praise the Lord. But one thing about it, we ought to be seeking God in a greater way. And to just give us uh, even a better understanding as to how to deal with people. How to talk, how to speak your word, and how to live daily for you. Praise the Lord. You know, it's a thing that we ought to be able to look at and see that a difference is being made. Hallelujah. A difference is being made in individuals' hearts. Hallelujah. So, if I can't point to men and women and girls and boys and young people and senior adults uh, whose life is not being changed, is not being changed, then I think, praise the Lord, that I fail. Hallelujah. When we see uh, lives not being changed, praise the Lord. It may be the lives in the congregation. It may be other lives wherever they are. Praise the Lord. But those that we come in contact with, they ought to see a difference in our lives and the lives of the world. You know, some churches, they have their graphs set up. They call them growing graphs. And they look at the graphs and they, they see, uh, is the line on the graph going up? Or is it, has it that level off going across? Or is it going down or what? And some people, they take a lot of pleasure and a lot of delight in showing a graph where the lines are just going up and up and up. Praise the Lord. But I, 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 I tell you, it makes no difference how beautiful your growth graph may look. Praise the Lord. We need to see people who are seeking to live the Christian life, to live a righteous life. Hallelujah. Grabs can go as high as they can. Hallelujah. But the most important thing, we need to see people who have truly accepted the Lord and are seeking to live a saintly life. Praise the Lord. Who are having regular times along with God. We need to have some regular times along with God whose prayers and whose lives are solid and who have a growing grasp upon the scripture. Studying the word of God. Knowing what God is saying in his word. Hallelujah. And who are learning to serve in the area of their spiritual gift. Hallelujah. Not in the area of somebody else's spiritual gift, but use the spiritual gift that God has given each and every one of us. We should never be content with impressive graphs and unchanged lives. Hallelujah. Lives need to be changed. You see, discipleship is the point. Discipleship is the point. Praise the Lord. People who are enjoying God more than the things of the world. Hallelujah. And we know, praise the Lord, how some people would rather be in other places. Hallelujah. Would rather be with the world. Hallelujah. Rather be doing the things of the world. But, that, but God is looking from on high. Hallelujah. He sees and he knows everything that's going on 
in the lives of individuals. You see, godliness is the point. Godliness is the point. When God made us, he made us to serve him. He made us to magnify him. When he made man, he made him holy. He made him good. He made him righteous. But man turned from him and sinned against God. Sin entered the world. Hallelujah. And man, men have been sinful ever since. Hallelujah. Doing their own things. We have the murderers, the mass killings. Uh, praise the Lord. We have the hatred. Uh, those that hate, praise the Lord. We have all kinds of sin around. Hallelujah. And sin has never pleased God. It's always been foreign to God. Hallelujah. And one day, he's going to judge the world. Hallelujah. I said one day, he's going to judge the world. Hallelujah. And people, we need to learn how to enjoy God more than the things of the world. Hallelujah. I, I've said this in a message once before. Uh, that, 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 that was a man, oh, a, a man, he just admitted it. He just admitted what kind of man he was. Hallelujah. He admitted that he was a bad man. He admitted that he was a wicked man. And he described, described himself as one who used to womanize, get drunk, and fight. Hallelujah. And that's the type of man he was. Hallelujah. But he let us know that one day, hallelujah, one day, hallelujah, he got saved and placed his faith in Christ Jesus. I tell you, oh, you're talking about a happy day. <laughs> You're talking about a happy day. I'm going to tell you, salvation make one happy. Hallelujah. Salvation bring peace. It brings deliverance. I don't care how much you go out, how much money you have, how much the, the pleasure you seek. Hallelujah. You're just going the ways of the world. Hallelujah. But when you meet Jesus, something happens when you meet Jesus. This man got saved, his faith was in Christ, uh, and then his son saw it. His son said, praise the Lord, uh, hallelujah. I, I, I see in my father a new man on the inside. I see a new man, hallelujah. Now, he, did that, he, he didn't know what the, the Second Corinthians 5 and 17 said, praise the Lord. He did not know that the... Uh, Praise the Lord that anyone that was in Christ, he become a new creation. Hallelujah. Old things are passed away. You start acting different. You start walking different. You start talking different. Hallelujah. You become a new creation, a new creature. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. When Christ come in, hallelujah, he saw that in his father. In John 13 and 35, Jesus explained, By this will all men know that you are my disciple, if you love one another. Hallelujah. You can't go around with hatred and dislike within your heart. Praise the Lord. If members of a church are characterized by love one for another, then you have met a supreme condition for making disciples. Hallelujah. You've met a supreme condition when you see love among the members, when you see love among brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. The question was asked a number of persons. Hallelujah. Maybe this was a type of survey. Asked a number of persons said, if they thought that outsiders per perceived believers to be more loving or less loving than the world in general. Hallelujah. Outsiders was asked this, and some of them said, they gave the answer that there's little difference. My God, my God, said there is little difference. But I'm telling you, praise the Lord, when you get to the place where you see people are true worshipers, when you see people are righteous and living in their lives, so speak for themselves, you see that person. You know, praise the Lord, that there is a difference. Praise the Lord, there is a difference. So regardless of what men say, there is a difference in the saved 
and the unsaved. Hallelujah. When Jesus come into your life, when the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, you feel with the power of God from on high, there is a difference, praise the Lord. And I tell you, men and women see a difference, and they know a difference. Praise the Lord. In many cases, the world perceives some people to be judgmental. Some church people to be judgmental, to be critical, and to be condemning. But Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn the world. Hallelujah. But he came that you might have life. And that you might have life more abundantly. Can you tell him thank you? But the first characteristic of a disciple is abiding in Christ. Hallelujah. And Christ in you. And the second is loving one another. Hallelujah. And the third one is bearing much fruit. Bearing fruit. Hallelujah. Our fruit ought to be seen. Hallelujah. Bearing that fruit. You see, the, included in this idea of fruit bearing is reproduction. Hallelujah. Including and in bearing fruit is reproduction. Hallelujah. The seed is always in the fruit. And one of the mark of a mature fruit is the ability to produce, to reproduce. Hallelujah. And therefore, praise the Lord, it produces the same kind. Hallelujah. You see, like produces like. Hallelujah. You don't find dogs producing kitties or kitties producing dogs. Like produce like. Praise the Lord. Therefore, praise the Lord. We as disciples should produce more disciples. Let the world see Jesus in our lives, producing more disciples. And in order to grow healthy, the seed must have the right condition. Hallelujah. We need, yes, sir, quality care. We need training. We need teaching. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We get those things in many ways by listening to the word, by reading the word yourself. Reading the word. Praise the Lord. You hear the word. You hear the word of God in songs. Hallelujah. You hear it in different types of message. You can see the word of God if you go out and have the spiritual eye to look and see what's around about you. Hallelujah. You see, hallelujah, there is a God somewhere. Hallelujah. Now listen, sometimes people, they don't say helpful things. So therefore, you have to watch how you speak. Sometimes they don't say helpful things. And, 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 and therefore, people, other folk don't want to be around you. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you, in the long run, even if you are advertising something, even if you're advertising your church, praise the Lord. Advertising will never cover a bad product. Advertising will never cover a bad product. The label on the bottle is important. Praise the Lord. But what's in the bottle is the thing that counts. Hallelujah. What's in you? Hallelujah is the thing that counts. The gospel is all about grace. And forgiveness is available. Hallelujah. But work on quality. Hallelujah. Before quantity. Work on quality. Hallelujah. Quality before quantity. Make sure you have disciples before you reproduce what you have. My God. Somebody tell him thank you. Somebody tell him thank you. Hallelujah, have a light. Hallelujah, we're to let it shine. We're to have the light of Christ within our hearts and, and let it shine. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad for the Lord Jesus? Aren't you glad for his touch? Aren't you glad for his salvation? So great a salvation. And the writer said in the word, how, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? How can we make it in? We're not going anyhow. There are a lot of songs talk about anyhow. But you're not going to heaven anyhow. We've got to live according to the word of God. 
The last thing we were going to do is to develop a church full of lukewarm and immature believers because light produces light. And if we don't have disciples, we cannot produce them. And on the other hand, praise the Lord, if we have mature believers, we can produce mature believers. How many you really believe God? How many you really believe God? Just tell him, Lord, I believe you. Hallelujah. But the Bible said, he that believe it. Now, just by saying I believe is not it. Praise the Lord. But believe it, a continuation. You keep on praying. You keep on fasting. You keep on reading the word of God. You keep on thanking God. Hallelujah. Thank him for keeping you. Thank him for keeping you alive. For staying the hand of the wicked one. For rebuking the devil. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I tell you, praise the Lord. In many situations, we need less talk and more longing for God. Longing for God. Hallelujah. And I tell you, praise the Lord. You see, longing for God, when it really gets down in your soul and in your heart, it will produce longing for other souls. It will produce longing for other souls. Hallelujah. David said in Psalms 42, hallelujah, and the second verse, that my soul thirsts for God. Hallelujah. For the living God. My soul thirsted for God. And there in Psalm 63, 1 and 2, David said, Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. My soul just longing for you. It longed to see your power. See your power and your glory as I have seen it in the sanctuary. I'm longing for you, Lord. I want the more of Jesus to come into my life. You have to have that desire. Time. Listen, praise the Lord. Listen, hell is a terrible place. Hallelujah. Hell is a terrible place. The fire never is quenched. Hallelujah. The worm never die. Hallelujah. But suffering. And when you think about eternity, that's a long time. It is not a long time. It's an eternity. Hallelujah. And when we say praise the Lord, but a real hunger and thirst for God. It makes one concerned about God's program. A real hunger and a thirst for God. It's not a thirst for popularity and fame. I want you to listen to that because the devil, he works in that era so, so diligently. Hallelujah. And, and that it, it's in man. Hallelujah. In the old nature. Hallelujah. To want to be popular and have popularity and have fame. Some people would rather have fame and popularity, hallelujah, and money than about anything else. Praise the Lord. But your money perish with you. Your fame, your fame, hallelujah, it only lasts for a season. Your popularity is going to the grave when you go. Can you tell God thank you? But David cried out. He had a thirst. We need a thirst like David. When David said, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Hallelujah. We need the right spirit. Hallelujah. I said we need the right spirit. Renew a right spirit within me. Hallelujah. You see, it's a longing like the prodigal son had developed when he left home. And he got out there and found himself in the hog pen. Hallelujah. His money was all gone. Hallelujah. He had no place to go. No money. No friends. No food. He began to look at the, the stuff the hogs were eating. Hallelujah. And I, I, I guess it started looking good to him. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you, but he had, he developed a, a longing to go back home. We need that longing. Longing and thirst and hungering after God. It brings a deeper love 
in the believer. When you hunger and you thirst for God, hallelujah, it brings a deeper love in your heart. You feel the power of God down in your spirit, in your innermost being. You know that he's there. Hallelujah. But the greatest unmet need, one of the greatest unmet need is in your community. Praise the Lord. And the greatest need is love. I say it's love. Hallelujah. Love people. People love, crave, and they crave fellowship and love. Uh, people want to know and to be known, to love and to be loved. They want, praise the Lord, hallelujah, to socialize, to talk and to listen and to share and to laugh. They want a close personal friend with whom that they can totally be honest with. And when we love people and spend time with them, they become much more open, hallelujah, to hearing about the gospel. Hallelujah. Love is what Jesus had for humanity. So much love until he came to die for the sins of humanity. The church, hallelujah, listen, the church of God. The church that Jesus established, it was conceived at a time when it seemed that there was no hope in the world, that there was no hope for salvation. But Jesus said about God the Father, in burnt offerings and sacrifice for sin, thou hast no pleasure. Hallelujah. He had no pleasure in those dead animals. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and those live animals being sacrificed for sin. He accepted it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But it was just, praise the Lord, a figurative thing of the coming of Jesus. What it would be when he come and make a sacrifice for all of humanity. Praise the Lord. Sin he had no pleasure in. But then the Lord Jesus said, Lo, I come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they searched the heaven and they searched the earth and they searched under the earth and when none could be found, Jesus stood up in heaven there. Ha, ha. Hey, thank you. And said, Lo, I come. In the volume of this book, it is written to me to do thy will, O God. He came to do the will of his Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look like I can just see him, the brightest star in heaven. Hallelujah. How he came down. Hallelujah. Walking down the stairways of heaven, so to speak. And coming on down to a dying world, a world that's suffering, a world that's lost in sin and had no hope. Hallelujah. I don't tell you, it must have been some kind of scene in heaven. Hallelujah. The angels, I don't know, but look like they may have, hallelujah, just stood there looking, <laughs> put on garments of mourning, and, and heaven even was trembling and shuddering, hallelujah, when they saw this. Hallelujah. It was then when Jesus came on down to this world, this sinful world, when he grew up in the ways of God. When he was given wisdom and knowledge, and, and then during his life there, how did he heal the people? He healed all manner of diseases, the blind, the crippled, the lame. He raised the dead. Hallelujah. Gave them life again. Praise the Lord. And when the people saw that, they got excited. And some of them wanted to make him and to crown him king. Wanted to crown him king. Hallelujah. But did not know that he came for a special purpose. Hallelujah. He came for a special purpose. And see, even Satan offered him the, all the kingdoms of the world. Hallelujah. But Jesus wanted nothing. He wanted nothing. The gold, the position, the fame. Oh, he wanted none of that. Hallelujah. And if anyone ever had a chance to capitalize on popularity, Jesus did. 
Hallelujah. I said Jesus did. Yet he turned it all down. He wanted the souls of men to be in fellowship with the Father in heaven. He wanted to, men to become reconciled to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then praise the Lord. Romans 5 and 8 says, And while they were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Praise the Lord. His goal was reconciliation between God and man. Hallelujah. Reconciliation between man and God. Hallelujah. And Jesus, and praise the Lord, I'm coming to a close. Somebody tell him thank you. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. And Jesus, he drank the cup to the last bit of drugs, broken, bleeding, dying, his body trembling and shuddering with pain. His soul sobs were bitter. He was paying the price, praise the Lord, paying the awful penalty for death, for sin, until finally his agony erupted. With a great piercing wail, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Hallelujah. But I tell you, but soon his work was finished. His work was finished. Now what more could he do? He paid the price, the greatest debt, neither heaven or earth or any man could require more. Hallelujah. He paid it all. Hallelujah. And look. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't want to. Well, hallelujah. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Oh, praise the Lord. Look what Isaiah said. Isaiah looked at it and said he was wounded for our transgressions. And he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of his peace was upon him. And with his stripes, mm, when they beat him so, until his muscles of the flesh hung down his back. Praise the Lord with his stripes. Hallelujah. He was opposed. He was opposed, oppressed. Hallelujah. He was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter, so he opened not his mouth. And Isaiah said that, and I'm closing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ha somebody tell him thank you. Don't want to be too long. Hallelujah. But I tell you, praise the Lord. It's the power of God that keeps holding me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the power of God because of his dying. And as many as were astonished at thee, I just said, his visage, visage was so marked. More than any man, his form more than the sons of men. In other words, his face, hallelujah, his body was so marred. Men, he, he, he didn't look like the same man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But men, hallelujah, his outward form, his shape, his appearance, his visage was so disfigured more than any man. Hallelujah. And look at what men did. Men hid their faces. They hid their faces from him in disgust when they saw his agony. Hallelujah. He was despised and we put him, we put no value upon his suffering. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord thank you. He did all of this for us. He did all of it for you and I, for all of humanity. And right now, praise the Lord, we can tell him thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But the way that we really tell him thank you is when we come before him. Hallelujah. When the, if you're not saved, when one come before him and confess sin. Hallelujah, Lord, I'm just a sinner. Hallelujah, sin is in my life. Hallelujah. And the devil helped people think that you can't, you just can't help it. 
You just can't help it. But oh, the song said, when Jesus came into my heart. Hallelujah. When Jesus come in, he's the one that makes the difference. He's the one that gives salvation. He's the one that forgives sin. He's the one that makes you fit for the kingdom. Hallelujah. When Jesus come in, he changes attitudes. He changes the mind. Hallelujah. You have a new mind. Hallelujah. You become a new creation. Hallelujah. The old things that you used to do. Hallelujah. You don't want to do them anymore. The old places you used to go, you don't want to go there anymore. But since Jesus come into my heart, oh, the joy that will flood your soul. Peace within your mind. The world is lost and headed for destruction. This world system is not for the people of God. Oh, blessed name. But when you step out of this world system and let God know that I'm tired. I'm tired of the way I've been walking. I'm tired. I'm tired of sin, but Lord, I come before you with a heart open to receive you. Oh, bless his name, and I tell you, since Jesus, hallelujah, since he come into the heart, oh, the joy that floods your soul, something happened. I said, something happened. You may not be able to explain it, but something happened. Oh, bless his name. It's the love of God. Hallelujah. That's shed abroad in the hearts by the Holy Ghost. It's time to give up that old life. Hallelujah. We thank God for you today. <laughs> thank you. Oh, bless the Lord. Will you just stand with me for a minute? Hallelujah. 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 I want to tell you, he's done great things. God has done great things. Hallelujah. He's done great things for me. And I know he's done great things for many of you. Hallelujah. And holy is his name. Oh, bless the Lord. He's calling you today. Hallelujah. If you have not surrendered to him, if you have not maybe had a desire to walk worthy before him, hallelujah. You see, we're here for just a short while. And I know a hundred years seem to be a long time for you. You may think that's a long time, and many of us think that it's a long time, but that's not a drop in the bucket when it comes to eternity. Hallelujah. The real you is inhabiting this body. This body, when it dies, is going back to the dust, never to exist anymore. This body, but the spirit of man is the real you on the inside spirit and the soul come out of this body and you are an eternal being right now the body is going to die but the real you is on the inside the real spirit of man hallelujah and God will give on that day of resurrection a new body to those that live for him. A new spiritual body. A new spiritual body. Not a physical body like this body. Oh, it will be you. It will look like you. Hallelujah. That day is coming. Hallelujah. And Jesus' hand is stretched out right now. If sin is in your life, one need to repent of sin and accept the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah.
we're going to pray a prayer for forgiveness. And those of you that know without a shadow of doubt that I there are things in my life I need God to forgive me for. I need God to save me. I need him to save me. And as I quoted tonight, the word said, how shall we escape if we neglect the salvation that Jesus brought? How shall we escape? There is no other way. For he said, I am the way. I'm the truth and I'm the life. If you're here today, you're in this audience, and you know, Lord, I haven't done what I should have done. Therefore, sin is in my life, and I need forgiveness. Just raise your hand. Don't be ashamed. Just raise those hands. And I see hands being raised. All right. I want everybody in here praying with us. With your eyes closed, just tell him, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for life. You've been so good to me. You let me live, Lord, to see this day. And I've heard your word, oh God. And I believe the word. And this day, I come to you, oh God, repenting and confessing all of my sins. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Wash me and cleanse me in the blood of Jesus. Oh God, right now, Lord, I need you more than anything in this world. I need you. I need your touch, Lord. I need your keeping power. Deliver me, O oh God, for I believe that Jesus Christ is Son of God. I believe that he was crucified. He died and was buried, but he arose on the third day. I believe, O oh God, and I come to him. I come to Jesus, and I'm repenting, Lord, and forsaken. And I want to walk with you daily. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Lord, I thank you today for those that repented and asked for forgiveness. Bless them, O oh God. Direct them and give them understanding. Help them to read your word. Help them to become very concerned about their own soul. In Jesus' name, I ain't got Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If there be any of you here that, praise the Lord. How many of you feel that God forgave you? Let me see your hand. Praise our see hands. Well, if you meant what you said, he has forgiven you. You need to stay among people that believe God, that live for him, hallelujah, that walk before him daily. Let the Lord teach you and let him guide you and direct your path. In Jesus' name, you may be seated. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is offering time now. Praise the Lord. God bless you. It's time to give an offering unto the Lord. We ask that you prepare your hearts to give. We ask the deacon brother to be ready to receive the offering. With your offering in your hand, we're standing in the sanctuary. Lord, we thank you for this offering that we're about to receive in your son Jesus' name. Lord, today we want you to bless every giver. Even bless those that have not, but have a desire to give unto you. Open up the windows of heaven and shower down a blessing upon your people today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And the rest of our deacons.